60 minutes, rewind. When you ask Robin who he looks up to, who influenced him, the credit goes to one man. Jonathan has just taught me about the world is open for play. I mean, he's that anything and everybody is mockable <laughs> in a wonderful way. Jonathan is Jonathan Winters, the acknowledged you know master of improvisation. You know, you have come to the temple of the unusual. <laughs> I am Chiang Wai Chi Nu Chao. Welcome, Eddie Ed Radley. Bradley, I knew I'd have it right around. Doesn't make any difference. You're in my charge. You're a very attractive man. I hope you will stay with us until the film is developed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, CBS Sports. Hand him a hat and you'll get a two-character play. Hello, sport fans. An incredible day today. Bob, uh, here's uh, Bob Davenport. Bob is uh, our color man and... Uh, Bob, of course, you played ball for almost uh, 18 years, both in the National and the American. Uh, gosh, and you've just joined us here at CBS. Uh, must be a great thrill. It's a joke. <laughs> I'm supposed to get some more money than I got. I don't care what O.J. Simpson got. He don't mean nothing to me. You understand? No, man, I've been shafted. I mean, somebody has, has stroked me, you understand? Yeah, and that man down there from the Dominican Republic, I don't identify with him. I'm from Muncie, Indiana. Oh, go on with Vominos. Vominos. You understand? She. Tell me something else. I ain't gonna build <laughs> Where does Winters get his characters? All of the Americans I do are a part of me. And I say a part of me because they're a big part of me. These are people that I really grew up with. These are my tools. So if I go back to rural America, uh, I'm calling on a lot of people that I grew up with. Uh, some of it, granted, is exaggerated, but then so is comedy. Jonathan says that deep down, everybody wants to be a comedian. I think everybody wants to be funny. It's interesting. At some time or another. A lot of people will disagree with that. But we've all seen the guy uh, at the meeting, at the convention, at the gas station, in the living room, on his porch that does this. Guess what I am? Huh? I don't know. You're being very <laughs> foolish. I'm a moose. Do you do this on the porch a lot? Yeah, I always get a laugh with it. What do you do for a living? Aerodynamics. <laughs> mm. Man, we've had problems with aircraft. Ooh. Halfway through the interview, Robin showed up and couldn't resist the chance to direct. Oh. In this scene, I want you to play as much love as you can. Okay. And we'll pan back. All right. And as much love as I can. Right. Okay, to, to add here. Yes, and just something okay. I want you to work with your All right. eyes. I work with my eyes. Let us see your eyes. Okay. Tell us what you really okay. feel. Okay. Subtext is love. Hey, Edward, <laughs> we're going to get you through the tunnel. <laughs> now, listen to us. I know you've never learned to read or write. It doesn't make any difference. You're a beautiful human being. You're going to be free. <laughs> You're going to be free. <laughs> You'll go north tomorrow night on the packet. You go up along the shore, and they'll stick close to the shore. Thank you, incidentally, for all that money. <laughs> These two make it look easy, but Jonathan Winters has some sobering thoughts. I think comedy is, uh, it can be, believe me, it can be an awful lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. But how would you like to go out in front of 2,000 people, just you, and hold them for one hour. Here we are, Robin Leach, lifestyles in the unusual and funny. We are back at someone's backyard talking louder than anyone we've ever known. Jonathan Winters, I'm wearing a cheap suit, he's got an emblem. Let's watch, let's see what his home is like. They're all buried over in here. <laughs> Those people wouldn't do uh, the unusual or buried over. <laughs> The last time we saw Robin, he was still at Jonathan Winter's house, still playing it for laughs. Reverend Ainsley, uh, my hands are arthritic, as you can tell. Well, just consider him not his hands anymore, but his paws. Be ready to do this. Get a little cat tree. Don't be afraid. Say yes, yes. <laughs> Don't be afraid. I'm going to put my hands on your head now. I'm no, but they're in my hands. Why would you put your hand on my head? Because There's nothing the matter with my hands. It's head. a two shot. Go with me. It's a two shot. <laughs> Work with me now. Work with me, demon spirit, Bobby. Get the extra. Look ready. at my hands. They're straight out. They're straight out. <laughs> now now no, you can serve things. Now you can serve things. Go table for tea. Table for tea. 
No, but I can't get them back that way. How do you get them back for a for... Look, horrible. This is called mime syndrome. A tendency to be in a box for no reason for horrible long periods. A tendency to walk against the wind when there is no wind. Won't you please help? A mime is a terrible thing to waste. You heard what he said. Mime is a terrible thing to waste. Look at this. This it... also means surrender. It's also basic Egyptian army training course. Okay, ready? Drop gun? Again. One more time. Drop gun? Again. Drop gun? Again. God in heaven. All this money. <laughs>